Hello everyone. I'm back again with this brand new episode. So, for today's video, I will be sharing with you guys the famous 168 hour circuit flight that everybody is talking about this game. So how does a 168 hour circuit flight work? What are the steps and what do you need to set this up? These are the questions that we are going to cover for this episode. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. A 168-hour circuit is a duration of week or the entire length of a schedule in Airlines Manager Tycoon. In short, a 24-7 non-stop flight. That is why I will be needing seven aircrafts to set this up. Let us go ahead and deliver these A38800 a very good choice of aircraft for these is the A38800 since it has bigger capacity especially for economy. I set the configuration to full economy which is 852 seating capacity plus 4 tons of cargo. This is my usual setup as I have explained on my previous video. Now, let us go ahead and purchase routes. Since it is a 168 hour flight time, it usually consists of 6 or more routes. For this episode, I have already prepared the routes that I will be purchasing. I have selected 628 hour flight time to maximize the 168 hour flight time. These routes are carefully selected so that the demand will fit the configuration of my aircraft. This is another thing that you would be considering when buying a route after taking into account the flight time. Also, for choosing a route, most of the time, African continent have high demand when it comes to economy. I did not expect here that some countries in Europe will have high demand on economy too. Next part would be to update the prices of the routes to update also the current demand. I will no longer perform an audit since before buying I have already audited it to see if the demand will fit my aircraft's configuration. I will fast forward these two. And, for the last part, the scheduling of the routes. I will be scheduling them one by one, starting on Monday. As you can see, though the flight will continue until the next day, only the first day demand was deducted. You need to be careful on this one. Since I'm doing more than route, I will be using these access routes option to save some time. Here you can easily select the route that you want. 
I will just drag the next schedule at the end of the first flight. Same goes with the remaining routes until the flight schedule is full for the whole week. For the next aircraft, you will be adjusting the start day of your schedule. The reason behind this is that, as I have mentioned earlier, the demand of the first route on Monday is already fulfilled. That is why, for the next aircraft you need to schedule it on Tuesday then same with the previous, just continue putting the next route at the end of another route. This explains why I needed 7 aircrafts in order to fulfill all the demand every day of the week. I think seven aircrafts are needed always and the routes will be very depending on the flight time of the routes. Important thing is that you must maximize the 168-hour flight time. With regards to the route, this is ideal for those routes that have more than 24 hours flight time. As for the type of configuration, you can always do the full economy or tri-class configuration. But please take note that every route has different demand, this is what I have said earlier that you should be careful in order to maximize the full capacity of your aircraft whatever the configuration is.
you can check your schedule flights for the day here in the daily flights. Let us see how much turnover has added on my daily cash flow. Of course, this is not yet the final. Before I forget, every time you purchase a new aircraft or a new route or hub, always check your staffs at the administration tab. See, I have additional 6,000 plus workers that I needed to hire to avoid the agency worker penalty. You can always train them if you have available recruits to increase your service bonuses. I think I have covered up everything for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions in mind that you want me to cover, just type in the comment section. Do not forget to support my channel by subscribing and liking this video. See you on my next video.